What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mode. Welcome to day eight of the July Painting Challenge 2014. So let me show you what I was able to do today. Didn't touch these guys at all yet. Nope, sorry. Uh, didn't do any of the weapons crews, but here's what I was able to do. Base coating all the coats of, the great coats of my infantry and my crew guys here in the front. It might not seem like much, but um, when you take a look at how much they are, it's, it's a lot of them. But really I just kind of went over them with a wash brush and the base color, which is Dark Reaper. So stay tuned to see a sped up version of me going through each and every single one of these guys and answering the daily question. Okay, ladies please. All right, so here we go. You can see that I'm, I've got all my guys lined up in an orderly fashion. I'm just going to go through each of my guys one by one. I'm basically just taking Dark Reaper and I'm painting them one at a time. So very, very simple stuff. Uh, the answer to the daily question, which I'll answer now, and for those of you in the challenge who are trying to slog through everybody's videos, you could just skip the rest of this video if you don't want to watch me painting these, is the uh, 40K role-playing game that I would like to see them come out with next would be, I don't know, this is one that, this is a daily question that I just, you know, thought up because at the time I thought, oh, there's so much cool role-playing games out now. I listen to the Grimdark podcast with Mike and James, and um, they go through all of the different systems and uh, for the 40k role-playing game. And um, I feel like there's not really any more corners that you can touch with all of the new Dark Heresy stuff coming out, and they've already cornered the, um, the Death Watch and Only War they've got for Imperial Guard. Um, I thought something that might be fun could be if they did like a 30k role-playing game. That might be pretty cool, play a Space Marine in the 30k universe, actually get to uh, interact with the Primarchs maybe. Um, and yeah, another thing that I would like to see would be to do a Space Marine role-playing game where you are like a commander of a, of a group of Space Marines and or maybe like a sergeant or just kind of like Death Watch, but whereas Death Watch is really geared for one small group of uh, specialist space marines from different chapters. I think, I don't know, it might be fun to do a do a role-playing game where they are, um, you know, like an actual part of a space marine force or an army going to bring a world to compliance. Kind of like in Only War, where you play a member of the Imperial Guard and you're just a member of a squad. I think that might be pretty fun. My uh, own personal experience with role-playing games is that um, I, I really enjoy it. I think the dynamic is really good and really fun. And so, yeah, that might be a good way to meld the two, um, the two kinds of game forms of the tabletop and the role-playing game. Okay, so that's about two minutes and 40 seconds here. So challengers, if you want to go and turn, ahead, turn this off right now, the rest of the four minutes are just going to be me rambling. And uh, okay, so now that that's done, you now look at look at me just trying to slog through all these guys. Uh, even when you put the Dark Reaper in a wet palette and thin it down and then paint it over these guys, they um, it's it takes like a good amount. Oh, and there there we go. Awesome work, Igor, making them uh, making the camera go out of frame as I'm painting. It's not my fault. I'm just a cameraman. Blame the director. Uh, no. This recording stuffs. Oh, are you filming now? Yeah. Okay. My lady boss and I are um going to be going out for a Wes Anderson movie marathon night. Oh man! Speaking of movies, we went to see Deliver Us from Evil last night. It was so bad. It was such a bad movie. I don't know. Some people liked it. I was I was looking at reviews because I was like, how can you like this movie? It's terrible. You might see the clippers there going into action. When I got these guys, some of their you'll see the little entrenching tools, the little shovels clipped to their their waists. Some of the handles snapped off. So um, yeah, it's a bummer. But I'd I'd rather just clip off the 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 shovel head instead of having a half a shovel head for for no reason. 
Uh, okay, what was I talking about? Role-playing games. So I had this idea, and I, I don't know how, how, uh, how successful it's going to be, but I'm trying to think of different ways to um, make a little bit more, uh, I guess, income doing this hobby that you know we love and spend so much time and money on. Uh, it would be nice to get a little something back. So um, what I was thinking of doing, and let me know what you think of this idea, is doing a uh, doing a podcast that has like a slight charge to it, like ninety nine cents an episode, or I'd, I don't know. I think I got to look at Google Play because right now we have it on iTunes for free, and it's it's totally fine. But um, the the reason why I want to charge a little bit more is because we want to do a podcast where we uh, record not only us playing a role playing game, but also writing and editing and putting in sound effects and doing voice acting, kind of like an audio drama for our play sessions. And I don't know, I'm just kind of thinking of how that might work, but that's that's an idea we've got going on. So anyway, stay tuned to hear more about that. That's This is all we've got for this video. All the crew and all the guys painted up. Alright, thanks for watching. Latest players!